If I knew then what I know now, well, it probably wouldn't have changed very much. And it probably wouldn't have changed very much because sometimes it doesn't matter what you know, what you feel just takes over. And there's so many ways like this that our perception becomes limited. In fact, our perception is its limits. And these limits, they're created by our biology, by our psychology, by our society. These are the factors which create that bubble which surrounds us that is our perceptual field, our world as we know it. Now, not all days were that dramatic. In fact, most days I probably seem like just any other normal kid, if not a little quiet. And because the truth is, I was. In fact, I was so normal, most people never would have guessed. They probably would have even been surprised to find out how I would hate the way the sunlight came in my window every morning when I would wake up. And I know that some of you know that too. I was so normal that a few years later, after not getting the help that I so clearly needed, most people would have never known that I was the one that had caused so much commotion late one night when I tried to jump from an overpass. Again, if they did know, I would have been the last to find out anyway. Because that's how these types of things go. People seem plenty eager to talk about mental illness and about suicide, just as long as it's behind closed doors and in hushed voices. I remember I was wandering the empty streets of my hometown. I was alone this time, unlike that other time. And it's because I wanted to die alone. My mind was running, screaming, shaking, collapsing in on itself again. When you're in that place and your perception is collapsing like that, those old thoughts kept coming back again. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not enough. So I walked up and I approached the railing to the overpass. I walked along it. I looked over. I came to a light post on my left-hand side and I stopped. Should I hang in there for just one more day? That's a phrase that people always seem to ask themselves when they're suicidal, I've found. I asked it to myself and others with whom I've worked, young people today, they've asked it too. It's this instinctual word of hope. Should I hang on there for just one more day? For what? <laughs> 